we have talked about um, on the show, Hillary Clinton has come out with the new shitty book, basically blaming everybody but herself, even people like David Pakman, who I know is a progressive, but is often looked at as more towards the Hillary side, even though I don't really think that I agree with the magnitude of that. But anyways, people like Sam Cedar, I mean, everybody except for Peter Douche is basically criticizing it. Now, you know, she said that, you know, Bernie Sanders is not a Democrat. That's not a smear. That's what he said. Yeah. What does that mean? You should be thanking him. That would mean that he had no obligation in history to, I don't know why I said in history, he had no obligation to then campaign for you, endorse you, and tell his voters to vote for you, and revamp and rejuvenate the Democratic Party to bring in way more young people into the party. Um, so that's just a joke. But anyways, what you're going to be seeing here is um, Bernie Sanders fucking obliterating, and when I say obliterating, I mean obliterating all of Hillary Clinton's attacks against Bernie Sanders right here because she claims that basically what she's saying is that his policy positions are reactive to hers rather than a set of philosophical and principled policy positions and um, and beliefs. And just check it out here, man. She gets obliterated. I thought got to something that's sort of interestingly deep and substantive and continues in the party today. And this is about the sort of, let's call it the frontier of the possible. The question of what a presidential candidate is selling their voters mm -hmm. and what goals they're setting in this sort of trade-off between reality, right? So she sure. says, no matter how bold and progressive my policy proposals were, Bernie would come out with something even bigger, loftier and leftier, regardless of whether it was realistic or not. And then Jake Sullivan has this uh, analogy to, there's something about Mar Mary, where a deranged hitchhiker says he's come up with a brilliant plan. Instead of famous eight-minute abs exercise routine, he's going to market seven-minute abs. It's the same, just quicker. I.E. Bernie Santa's just stole all of Hillary Clinton's ideas. Does anybody really believe that? The truth is, and the real story is, that the ideas that we brought forth during that campaign, which was so crazy and so radical, have increasingly become mainstream. I talked about a $15 an hour minimum wage. Right. Hillary did not. You know what? We got 31 co-sponsors on legislation for $15 an hour minimum wage. Talked about a trillion dollar infrastructure. We talked about uh, making health care a right of all people through Medicare for all. Medicare for all is becoming mainstream within the Democratic uh, Party. So many college making public colleges and universities tuition free. Talk to the governor of the state of New York. He's pretty proud of his accomplishment. So what I'm saying here, Chris, is yep. many of the ideas that we talked about, that Secretary Clinton and others said, oh, those are too far out. They are the ideas that are sweeping America that so, most Americans now support. All right, so one more follow-up on this, which is this. One of the things we saw happen with Republicans is they... ...support independent progressive media by leaving a subscription down below. Leave a like and share the video. Help us out on Patreon, or you can donate in other ways. Links are in the description down below. We are fighting Trump tooth and nail, and we will continue to do so with your help.